Greetings from San Francisco Children's Art Center. I'm teacher Amy, and in this video, we are gonna make sculptures out of milk cartons. So the materials you'll need to make this are some milk cartons. This one actually had sugar in it, but it's the same thing. And then here's a smaller one. See how they're two different sizes. We got these. And you'll need a pair of scissors, probably if, um, if your hands aren't big enough to use grown-up scissors, you might have to have a grown-up help you with the cutting part of this. And then you'll need either some tape or I'm gonna use a stapler today. So whichever one you're comfortable using, those will be the materials you need. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the cartons into sections. If you still use kid scissors or you have smaller hands that aren't quite as strong, you might wanna have a grown-up help you with this part because it will take some bigger scissors and some stronger hands. So the first thing you wanna do is tear open the bottom of the carton. By the way, I rinse these out and kind of let them dry first too. And then once you have the bottom torn open, you're gonna flatten it out. And then once it's flat, you're gonna cut. You're gonna cut along here. This sugar carton is a little bit stronger than a milk carton, but it'll still work. I'm gonna cut them so that they're in squares. You see how I have it flat and I'm holding it out? So when you get it cut, you end up with a square. So I'm gonna keep cutting these into pieces, you know, about like this. And then I'll do the same with my smaller milk carton. And we'll come back in a minute once I have all these cut. Okay, so now I've cut all of my pieces. I have the ones from the larger carton. You can see they're about that big. And then from the smaller carton, they're about this big. And the great thing is when you cut them in these strips is they maintain that square shape but they can also be bent and twisted to be diamonds. They can be flat, completely flat diamonds or squares. So you can start to play around with them. It's kind of fun to put them out into some different designs. How might you build them together? you make if it all comes out from one part in the center. Start playing around and just see what you can make and create. Notice how I'm not taping anything down or gluing anything yet. I'm just playing. I'm experimenting and seeing what it can possibly be. Another thing you can think about doing, you don't have to just build, build flat, you can start to build tall. You can piece pieces together to make them stand. Build sculptures, find that balance. Build sculptures that stand. Maybe if I make two pieces like this, let that square form help hold it up. See how you can build taller designs along with the flat designs that you experiment with. Ah! So once it starts to fall down and you feel like you know what you want to do, you can start to either tape pieces together with some tape, and that's going to help hold them into the place where you want. Or I like to use a stapler. I can go in and I can staple things in place. I'm gonna start with that. Maybe I'll build two that go out like that. Ooh, 
starting to see something come up in this. So this is one of those things where there's no wrong way to do this. It's just your imagination and what you build and create. Oh, I kind of like how these go out like a diamond. What if there was another one in here? Ooh, it's really just experimenting, trying things out, seeing what it can become. It can kind of be amazing what you can make with milk cartons. And if you're feeling really proud of what you've made, take a picture of it and send it to us. You can email it to sfcac at childrensartcenter.org and we'll share what you've made on our community page and you can see what other kids all around the city are making at home as well. Enjoy making these awesome cardboard uh, carton, cardboard carton sculptures that bend and flex and hold their shape. And we hope to see you again in another video soon. Bye-bye.